In the early days, I would do luncheons in New York where we would invite a couple of merchants and a couple of sommeliers and we'd take over a little restaurant. And one of our favorites was a little place called Raquel. And Thomas Keller was the chef. He's been a friend. He's been just a wonderful supporter of our wines. I admire him so much and what he's achieved. He is so precision and quality oriented that uh, to see him working in the kitchen is something else. I remember our first experience, French Laundry, coming out to the kitchen to see you. Such a wonderful thing. One to of the see. things that we took in consideration when we built this kitchen was space for guests. That's a wonderful attitude to have is inviting your guests back sure. to see the kitchen. And and to be therefore connected with the meal and, yeah. and how it was done yeah. to really understand and, and see. Yeah. The reference points have always been very important to me. We talk about things like macaroni and cheese, which was on the menu, or even the coronet, which looks like an ice cream cone. Exactly. So you get these, you, know, you know, you get these memories of childhood. You know, a sense of comfort, a sense of joy, a sense of discovery. And so, if we can establish a, a, um, a connectivity to an earlier time in your life. But then, kind of shattering that with a new paradigm, right? <laughs> yeah. This, oh my goodness, I've never tasted macaroni and cheese like this, or a savory ice cream cone, or coffee and donuts like this. So that's kind of what we do with, with our food. Well, you know, in terms of memory, what I realized gradually was that the modern techniques that had been developed were making wines that, to me, were not as complex as that old traditional approach. And so everything we do are basically based on late 19th century techniques in Bordeaux and California, and it's worked. Yeah. So memory for me yeah. is that we turned backwards and remembered <laughs> 19th century mm -hmm. techniques mm -hmm. and follow those today. Yeah. Which are which are the, the foundation, you know, yeah. for everything, and that's what we do with our cuisine. We have exactly. to have a foundation to really build from. That's Otherwise, it's just um, it's just superficial. That's and, it. And we don't yeah. need that in our, in our life. Um, it's it, it's interesting because people always ask me, you know, being here in Napa Valley. Uh, what's your favorite Cabernet? And I, you know, I, I struggle with the answer because I have lots of friends here and you know, um, longtime <laughs> friends. And so I'll name a few, um, but then I'll always say, you know, but my favorite Cabernet in California <laughs> is Montebello. Oh, um, that's and you know, the reason I do, the reason I, I mean, it, no, you just you brought up the point about using the the, the old world um, as your as your foundation, yeah. and it's elegant, has finesse, um, it ages extraordinarily well. It doesn't. It's not overpowering. It, it's it's just such a such a beautiful experience um, to drink to drink a Montebello. I think I joined the ATP program in the early '90s. Sure. Um, sure. And you know, I, I'm always excited when I get that box from Ridge with the different, you know, either Syrahs or Petit Syrahs yeah. or mostly the Zinfandels. Yeah. And you know, Zinfandel has always been one of my favorite varietals. And the Linton Springs, it's such a beautifully complex, um, nuanced. Um, wine that that just for me you know it touches all those buttons in terms of sensory experience you know it's just a testament to the quality of work that you do the work that your vineyard managers do right? it all comes together it's it's like it's like a kitchen in many ways right? I mean we you know we, we're relying on mother nature to supply us with beautiful ingredients and then we just need to make sure we're being respectful to those ingredients and producing something that's wonderful and, and enjoyable for people. Exactly. So you're you're yeah. focusing, you might say, on, on terroir in your ingredients. Yeah, always. And the, the fact that you've done this for this length of time has just astounded, and, and I have so much admiration for, Thank you. for what you've done. Thank no, you. really. One of our prized oh, possessions oh is our selection and collection oh, of the different ridges. I had no idea. I mean, I knew I knew you had some some good ridge, but to see this is something else for me. Oh, you're on Dynamite Hill from York mm -hmm. Creek. That's amazing yeah. to have all this. Yeah. Oh gosh. Old school. Yeah. All these years, knowing Thomas as I have, I had not realized what you what you were doing <laughs> here with this. Mm -hmm. I mean, I knew you, you traveled something like this today. Oh, it's gonna be kind wow. of fun. Now, so this was the year that I opened the French Laundry. Oh, okay. it was 1994. Fantastic. So it's really nice to have one oh, from, that, from that. Sure, from let's that do to it. This very exciting. And again, Eric, very special. You take a sip of this and you understand what 
Ridge is all about, what Mondale is all about, and what, what you're all what about. We try to, what yeah. we try to do. Yeah. This kind of defines it all for me. The idea of what we do, right? Sure. It's just about a good dinner. Yeah, That's exactly. It, you know? His glass of milk. Yeah. Well, he's got, you know, he's got his potato there, he's got his hamburger, his bread and butter. You and know, just his delight. And the greatest compliments <laughs> yeah. we ever receive yeah. are those when yeah. people say, I cannot tell you how much this has meant to me. Yeah. Uh, you know, to, to have these wines all these years and I, I, just, yeah, there's nothing else like that. They're just delicious. I love that word, delicious. When someone yeah, comes delicious, back, delicious. So do I. <laughs> the food was delicious. That's yeah, all I need to hear. Yes. I think the the sense of awareness is really important. That's what the French honey was for me. It was just like this moment of realization. Uh, it wasn't something I was searching for, but a moment of realization. Wow, this is it. You know, and I need to embrace that. And then when you follow that, you follow your heart you end up with something like this. I think when I'm having dinner you know, with Laura or with sure. family or with special friends, you know, you go, you go into your cellar and you're trying to find that special wine that you really, that you want to share. Right. Because, right? you know, we, we, when we talk about food and wine, you know, we're really talking about sharing. Exactly. Right? Sharing, exactly. sharing it's who we are, what we are, what we have with, with others. It's all about sharing family, friends, and conversation, the whole experience and the food, yeah. of course, is just yeah. are all together. And to take those bottles to a friend and have them and see how they open up and how they've developed is just a delight.